thing, just what they're going through. Yeah, they're just, the, uh, they've got a tester. We test if something's hot. It just looks like a little ballpoint pen. You hold it to the wire and test it. So you're recording it? Yep, it? sure am. Let's see. And, um, it's important to get documentation of things. Is it? As you well know. You're being recorded, Philip, so it's you okay. know. And as as are you, and yes, I don't mind if anyone comes in here and takes pictures as Good. long as they have a right to. I think I do. Off. Tell them it's off. Okay. It's off. No, it's back. Uh, it's off. Pardon me? Nothing. Oh. I think he went to screw the fuse back in before he told him. Yep. yep. He's recording you, so you'll know. I've got I've got a recording so that I've got a documentation of uh, this persistent issue that hadn't been addressed up until today. Which you were supposed to have called an electrician on several months ago. I left it with you, as you remember. You're being recorded. You said you wanted to pick your own, and therefore I waited until you did so. I said you did not. I said that we could uh, go ahead and do that, but you said that nothing was going to get done about no, it. I didn't say that. I yeah. said we're not going to rewrite Well, you're not going to put words in my mouth and then not me, have me give the chance to go ahead and reply. No problem. Good. So, so that's my say? that's my testimony no, of what no, happened. Let's all right. Clarify. So we're going to record. Let's clarify. Since uh, we're going to record, we're going to clarify. Yeah. Well, that's that says it all right there. Does it? Yeah. It says, it says quite I a want bit right to there. Clarify if we're going to keep a record. What did we agree on? Whenever? That we split the cost of an electrical okay. survey. Yes. Yep. And then and what and what did you tell me is that that wasn't going to be any rewiring. I said we yep. were not going to rewire the house. I didn't say we weren't going to make a repair. Don't well, put words in my mouth. Now. I, you didn't say that. I, I said exactly what you, uh, uh, you said that you said. Thank you. And that was that, that you weren't going to rewire anything. No, I didn't say that at all. I said well, we are you not just going got through to saying rewire that. the house. That's fine. Not... That's fine, Jim. You can parse words all you want. You get. You sent me a clear message that nothing was going to get done. That is not true, and you know it. No, I know that nothing got done with that septic out there, and that's and that showed up to be really? just as we described. And until I sent a letter of written really? form, you didn't do anything about it. Nothing was done about it until the written letter was sent. That isn't true either. You came in here and applied a fix that wasn't even a problem. You asked me to fix under the sink. No, you, that's where you said the problem was, Jim. You, did you? Not I sent you a long written letter explaining all this. We don't have to go over all this. Yes, we do. Yes, well, we do. Oh, okay. I want well. To clarify. Oh well, that's on your terms. I've got to. I've got to document what's going on. If you'd excuse me and give me the privilege of going ahead and living in a home without harassment. <laughs> yes, sir. You Thank go you. Right you. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. and mainly, this is for the audio, mm -hmm. and uh, a few things that are on video is just for. The benefit of having a visual reference. That's fine. You're welcome to have visual reference. As you can well see, two electricians are working on this problem at this point in time. Thank Family. God I finally sent you a letter in order to get you to move. It was in your hands, not mine. I know, Jim. It's the maintenance of the house and the electrical system is on whose hands? That's, yep, not. yep. There, that shows may, your irresponsibility right there. If you mind, you do anyway. Not. So keep on going. And I'll go anyway when I want to. I can see that. That's right. I've got a right to as well as you do. Yes, you do. And if it turns into a big old argument and you want to do I'm anything, arguing at all. whatever. What I'm no, of course is. not. You don't call anything arguing. It's just your way or the highway. We, uh, it's your responsibility to the homeowner who pays rent to go ahead and get things done. Okay. Was the rent paid, by the way? I haven't been to the office. No, not, not until this month. Oh, not until this month. That's right. Guess what? Well, this problem's been existing for four months. We've told you about it over that four months. You hadn't done jack squat about it. The only people who's been out here to do anything about it is the owner. And you uh, and you solve problems that don't exist. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, and here I thought that I was coming out and doing everything you asked me to. Well, uh, yeah, four months ago, I asked you to. And... And since then, we've lost two computers, a smartphone, and a fan. You're aware of all that. You hadn't done jack to it about it until now. At the homeowner's request, not on your own volition. Really? Really. I left it in your hands as you requested. At, 
Uh, and no, as, as you sloughed off the responsibility and explained to me that nothing was going to get done, I went ahead and, 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 and did as much as I was going to do. I'm that's not going to do your you job that. for you. That's not true when you know that. You, you think what, you, you what do you think? What do you think? These guys are going to hire a Mexican to come out and do their job and blame it on them when it doesn't go this, right? This is a falsehood. You know that? No, Jim. You know as well as I do it. that you're not going to fess up to anything. Is that right? Well, yeah. Because you don't have the responsibility to. No. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it's it. It's apparent. You, no one has to explain it except for that you don't seem to accept it. Mm -hmm. I think we've said enough for today, don't you? We have? Have we? I think so. That's fine. Good, because we could all deal without hearing you boom through the house. <clears throat> boom through the house. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe you can put your living room voice on for the benefit of my family and my two-year-old, mm -hmm. and that would be great. I'm not shouting. Thank God. <laughs> I don't understand. But anyway. Well, if you started losing electronics equipment due to the failure of the electrical system, you'd understand, but that you hadn't. the failure of electrical system. They told you that there was 100 and whatever volts are supposed to be on every outlet. They Why are they working on it right now? Because Why are they working on it? May I? No, they, they, may they, I? They, that's a rhetorical question. There's something wrong with it. A ground wire was cut. I don't know if you cut it or somebody else cut it, but I'm telling you we're fixing it. And I told you before we'd fix it, I said I wasn't going to rewire the house. Whatever. That's, the that's a, a straight-up lie. You're just doing that to cover your ass. Oh, you're just you're to cover my what? Your ass, your backside. It's an expression. It's called, it's called a way of saying it's a something. Harsh expression, but if you can. Say if you're that sensitive, really, are you really that sensitive? Do you want me to give you a tissue so you can wipe your eye? I'm glad you're recording all that. Oh, why? Because a judge is going to say what? I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, are you going to take me to court? No, you don't know. You do know. You don't know what. If you have something to say that there's a problem that you want me to address, simply let me know what it is. You don't address the problems. You create problems that don't exist and address those. I see. Was the plumbing repaired this weekend? By the homeowner. Good. By the homeowner. Mm -hmm. And how many times were you out here to fix the problem? That, not for at that least, problem. At least four times. That problem was identified on Monday of last week. Is that right? Is that right? We told we told we told you back in September. No, sir, back not. in September, my wife and I told you. I'm sorry. So you're calling true. us both liars. I'm just saying. You're calling my wife a liar. You're calling me a liar. And really, Jim, you're the liar. Am I? Yeah. Okay. And if that's too harsh for you, then go home and cry about it. Thank you. Maybe you can wipe your eyes up there. Maybe. I don't need to worry about it though. Mm-hmm. You've cost us time, you've cost us money, you've cost us equipment, you've cost us data loss, you've cost us sanitary conditions. That's the list true. goes on. That's you're lazy true. and you're uh, irresponsible. That's not true. And you're passing the buck at every turn that you can. And if I hadn't written a letter, Jim, none of this, none of this would have been fixed. We'd still have a clogged septic. We'd still have a messed up electric. And you wouldn't be here to address anything. You'd be blaming it on us. That is not true. I you can't. already have done it. It's just not been video documented 100%. That is not true. 100%. Because there's other videos that you don't know about. This is a one-party state. One party state on you don't even know what that means. We'll pay attention well, to your is, pay attention say, to your ethics class next let me, time. Let me oh, thank you. Let me just uh, say that uh, I will be back later with the health department because they you uh, notified and them that there was a problem. That's after, right. After you knew that it was going to be fixed on Saturday. I didn't so, know anything. Oh, okay. Well, I, I didn't know any. Know. Oh, yeah. I knew it was going to be fixed. I've I'm, I've got a crystal ball that I can look into. Do you look at your email? I looked at what you said, but of course you said a lot of other stuff that didn't pan out either. Okay. Well, I'm not going to argue about that. What, yeah. what, I, what I'm going to say is that I'm going to call Tanya because she called me. Good. And she's going to come out and look, put some, she said put some dye in the system or something. Whatever. She just wants to know that it's been repaired. How's she going to see that dye? Listen, it's all man, covered I'm up. not the health department. That's right. She asked me, I asked her if I needed to leave it open. She said no. Okay. You can deal with the health department on that. Anyway. The issue has been repaired. And you can deal with the homeowner on all these problems too, because I bet you they're wondering why they've got you as their agent. Mm -hmm. Family or not? No, I'm not part of their family. Well, that's better.
I guess it was all good to go before they got here. No, I said no? the ground oh, wire okay. had been cut. I don't know who cut it. Do you have any thoughts on who might have done done that? Yeah, I do, but I'm yeah. not going to say. Oh, okay. Well, good. Because I've got some thoughts myself, Jim. Okay. You think I snuck in here and cut a ground wire? I don't know what you've done. I've seen you sneaking around here before. I've seen you out here when you when there was no car out front. I saw your wife in the vehicle. I saw you out here. You said now you're saying that's never happened. I don't know what. Yeah, I I know for sure, Jim, that you're a shady character and that you're not up front. Well. I've, because I have seen you. I looked out this window in the morning, and I saw you uh, looking under the crawl space here and moving around that uh, that cooler right there. I saw you with my eyes. And if you're going to argue with me about it, what did you are you going to deny it? Time? I don't even remember. What? I say, what did you ask me about that time? I didn't ask you anything. Well, you, you were just out here on your own. No, I never come out here. Okay, well, there is another lie. <laughs> you never come out here on your own, do you? No, I come out here when I'm called, and you know that. Well, I didn't call you that day, and neither did Jen. Well, okay. And you were out here with your wife. I'm, I'm not going to continue this. We're just Good, because you're digging problem. deeper and deeper. You might as well be quiet. That'd be a first. You see, I know. Yeah, good. Uh, so you well, won't have to feel bad about what I'm saying, since I mean, you already know. No, well, we have witnesses as to what's going on. Well, I've got a document here in my hand. That's good. Get a piece of insulation. That's not, that, and that makes it non-hearsay. That's good. You've just been lazy, you've been uh, neglectful, and we've been the ones that's been suffering the damages, including the paper products under the sink, the time spent cleaning up the mess, the backed up septic in the yard, in the sink, in, in the under the sink, the loss of equipment here, two computers, a smartphone, a fan, and I'm sure there's other a things. Fan? A fan, even. A fan? A rotating right fan. Can you believe it? No, I don't. Well, of course you don't believe anything else I tell you either, so that's no surprise. Well, I'm not you call me. You you're, you basically say I think I'm incompetent and don't know what I'm talking about. I never said that. Well, did of I? course you've never said anything except did, for did, everything what? else you said, right? Did I say that? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Jim. You're not going to own up because you're irresponsible. Does it hurt your feelings? You know what hurts, Jim? Is that we pay you seven hundred dollars a month and you neglect to provide your end of the bargain. That hurts. And you talking about how you're so active with the church figures that the church has a bad rep. A bad rep? The yeah. Church. Yeah, because of people like you that don't own up to the responsible things that they're supposed to do. Mm. You're professionally an uh, agent to the homeowner. And if I hadn't wrote that letter giving you a written notice as my legal obligation as a tenant, a dutiful tenant, you wouldn't have done anything. The only reason they're out here is because the homeowners are moving you to do it. I'm not going to address it. You haven't addressed anything. It's no surprise. This is That's just normal behavior for you is to not to address it. Very well. I'm not going to address that either. <clears throat> no surprise there. Mm -hmm. You forced us into being this way due to the fact that you haven't addressed the problems that we've told you about in a dutiful manner. Mm -hmm. Now we thought we could be quote unquote cool and just phone call you about it, but that doesn't work with you. Yeah, you're on video still. I'm good. I'm, that's fine. I'm on video still. And I'm being as calm as I know how. Well, it's good. I caught that, that look in your eyes uh, caught too. I'm being as calm as I know how. Hold on a second. I'd like to slide Paya for here uh, with your permission. Where would you like to go? Well, wherever I like in this house. Am I on your way? Not right now, no. Okay. What is, it big, is it a big deal if I want to walk out the door? I don't care where you want to go. Good. You doing all right? You'll be able to see all about it here after they leave. We can you can look at this whole documentation of me explaining to Jim what's happened and him denying every bit of it. He thinks that we've sabotaged the electrical system. What? Hey, baby. Uh, how? 
Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, he's crazy? No, he's just irresponsible. Correct now. Okay. Sounds good to me. The window was covered by just this outlet. It wasn't on the window. Never was here. Okay, I'll see if I have one in the back. Thank you. Can't get it. Yeah. No, if not, I'll bring them back. I have to come back with the health department later anyway. Okay. Do you need to slide by, sir? Nope. Just gonna stand right here if you don't mind. Well, uh, matter of fact, I do mind. Well, where would you like me to be, sir? I'd like for you to have uh, be at least arm's length away. Really? Yeah. You think it's your right to go ahead? See, see how polite that was. He's not at conflict with me. He We're at conflict. You. That was not an assault. I'm not. In However, with anybody. No. No. Yeah. This. You don't call this conflict? No. Oh, okay. I'm not conflict. Okay. I'm being very that's, that's your understanding. This is all the color we have on the van. Okay. Get your place okay. You got that back in. Yeah. Still that one there a little bit Yeah. Okay. Guys, I apologize for the conflict you've had to witness. It's been four months. I've had broken equipment due to this system. I've never had equipment get fried before. But uh, but four pieces of equipment got fried in about two weeks. So I thank you for making it right and putting your reputation on this repair. That way I don't have to spend another $1,200 buying equipment that's replaced what I already had. I don't know what Tanya's schedule is with the health department. She asked me to call her today, and I was going to call her first thing this morning, but obviously we had to get this done first. So uh, as soon as I get back to the office, I'll give her a call. All right. And we'll see. As soon as she's ready, we'll come out and whatever she needs to do. I don't know. You got the keys, and for no one's here? Mm -hmm. I do. 